What's up guys, I'm Natalie for University TV and thanks for joining me on our tour of the University of St. Joseph. A little birdie told me that the uni- Oh hey, here is Joey the Blue Jay. I was just telling him how the university was founded in 1932, created for and by strong inquisitive women who will shape the future of our world. You think they're up for the challenge? Great, let's get this tour started. The University of St. Joseph is located in suburban West Hartford, Connecticut, which was named one of America's top 100 cities by Money Magazine. For an even bigger city feel, Boston and New York City are both about two hours away, and you are just one quick hour away from the beach. The beauty of USJ campus speaks for itself. Spread over 84 acres, the buildings are a distinctive Georgian brick architecture. Enjoy these fine facilities like the Carroll Arturino Center for the Arts and Humanities. It draws in 300,000 annually. The O'Connell Athletic Center has equally amazing amenities if you want to get your fitness on. 100, 101. There is about 2,500 students, including 1,000 undergrads, 1,500 graduates, and one turtle. The average class size is 14, and the student-to-faculty ratio is a low 12 to 1. Hi, buddy. The best part here is everybody is an individual, and they come here with all of their gifts and talents, and the great thing is, since we are a small campus, that we are able to give individual attention, and you're able to really develop and help a student like flourish and bring out those gifts and talents. Admission into St. Joseph is competitive with the entering student averaging a score of 1,000 on the SATs, critical reading and math sections, and a 3.2 GPA. You can afford to be a Blue Jay. The annual cost is nearly $32,000 in tuition and fees. Room and board is about $12,500. With our financial aid packages, which average $26,800 for first-year students, a great USJ education is within your grasp. The University of St. Joseph was ranked by the U.S. News and World Report among the top tier of regional colleges in the North in their 2011 edition. They offer 21 undergraduate programs, preparing you for higher education, a budding career, and beyond. School of Pharmacy, which has recently developed, is only graduate right now, but in the coming years, we expect to have a three plus three, that is students go do three years of undergraduate, and then those with the grades will be able to transition into our pharmacy program. The college continues to grow. Um, one of our biggest programs is nursing, and, and we have a focus on the healthcare arena, so sciences are important to us, but we're also very strong in teaching with a very strong underpinning in the social sciences and humanities. We've also sent students to um, Children's Connecticut Children's Medical Center, CCMC, um, to do internships there, to the U.S. Geological Society. We, we have a lot of, through our faculty, we have a lot of connections in the area. We also send students to Yale. Um, we have a faculty member who's doing research down there, and also Wesleyan. So there are, there are opportunities around the area. There are five Fulbright Scholars among the over 80% of faculty who hold terminal degrees. Teachers strive to provide you plenty of personal attention, like a mentorship. You will never be taught by a teaching assistant. All the teachers know me by my first name, and they know like who I am and just how I learn. And then they choose, they take that and they help me to flourish like individually. So. Um, and they're extremely accessible. I can email them, I can call them, I can go to their office, their office hours are perfect. USJ is an NCAA Division III college supporting eight varsity sports as part of the Great Northeast Athletic Conference. The Blue Jays have some fearless leaders like coaches Kim Martin, Chris Legates, and Tom Walsh, who were all named Coach of the Year in their respective sports. The university offers seven residence halls on campus, including suite styles like this one. The halls offer TV and study lounges, kitchens, and your mail is individually delivered to you. I just got a new Entertainment Weekly in. I love living on campus because I've made so many friends and I feel like our, dor our dormitories are so close to each other and um, we also have so many activities like for kids that stay on campus. We've got Dean's Cup, which is um, activities and events that go on between buildings. It's sort of like a competition within the residence halls for field day events. So whichever building racks up the most points 
ultimate win ultimately wins like a trophy cup. The over 30 clubs and organizations at the University of St. Joseph are anything but boring or traditional. You can travel locally to assist organizations in your community or globally to the college's sister hospital in Guyana, South America. Or stay right on campus and partake in fun intramurals like oozeball, water polo, and dodgeball. We have spring weekend, which is it's, uh, turned into a week this year. So there are events every single day on campus. We had a bands, we had hypnotists, we had just a scavenger hunt, which we went all over West Hartford for. Remember that whole change the world statement? I think these women qualify. USJ has graduated the first woman head of the FBI's anti-terror unit, NASA's first female lunar research scientist, and one of the Navy's first female rear admirals. Others give back through their community service efforts. 90% of current students are involved. This earned them a spot on the Presidential Honor Roll for Community Service in 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012. Outstanding and challenging academics and an incredible city to match? Become a globally connected person by making a change at the University of St. Joseph. Well, I'm going to miss you, but will you come visit me? I live really far south. Okay, good deal. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your tour of the University of St. Joseph, and we hope that you guys come over here and plan a trip for yourselves. For University TV, I'm Natalie, and I have to go now, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.